finally made it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, this is good. This is, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Hold on. This is a uh, new well. There's no way for that cobra. I don't know if you can make it out or not. Let's clear down the bottom. Let's zoom in and see if we can. That's basically him right there. He's, uh, okay, so you want to go in there barefoot? So Roy is uh, volunteering to go down and uh, get the snake. Okay, hope the bite falls in. Grab this. <laughs> what do you need? My hook. Okay, all right. The hook. Relax. I'm not going to hurt you, okay? Relax. Oh, yeah, he's relax. relaxed. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? You're tired, aren't you? He's not happy at all. He's not happy at all. Just give me another stick. A stick? Something. All right, all right. Relax, relax. Here, here, how's that? Okay, you need a bag? No, I'm fine. He's already got one. He's already got it. Oh, watch it. No, he said no. Wait till he wait till he captures it, then we can very dark one. Do you need a hook? No. There we got him. Okay. Move back, move back, move back. Yes, yes go ahead. You say he's about six foot around. It's a piece of cake. Spectacle Cobra fallen into a, a well. Going to be dug for a sister living. And uh, <coughs> specimen is probably about six feet long. <coughs> and uh, absolutely beautiful specimen. Looks like a male. Extremely frustrated being in the well for over three days. Doc? Yes. Over three oh, days. Oh, yeah, so yes, very dangerous snake. Counts to a lot of fatalities in the area. And you can see the cobras do exist with the people. Move your stick. Yeah, move the stick. Okay. No. Hurry
We are, I'm realistically here with Sanat and this is Sanat's neighborhood over here. This is the boy that found the cobra. You see, this is the great thing about identification in Sri Lanka. The, even though the cobra was not exerting its hood, he was able to identify it as a cobra. Uh, and, uh, uh, see, this is great. Being in a rural area, he was able to identify it as a cobra by the colors. So, which is pretty, pretty remarkable for somebody from the neighborhood. The so, Sanat, uh, obviously, this is from your neighborhood. Yes. You have found so many cobras around here. Yes, uh, more than about uh, 20. 20. Yes. So, cobras are a common occurrence in. Uh, yes. What, what is this area called? Uh, Vayangoda? Yes. Is this Vayangoda. Nitambur? Nitambur. Nitambur. So, Nitambur, you find cobras in Nitambur. Yes. Right. And also Russell's vipers. Yes, very common. Uh, right. Very common. Okay. So out of the lapids, the larger lapids, the cobra is the only larger lapid in the area. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Awesome, Sanat. I'm very thankful to you, Sanat, for bringing me on this uh, uh, hands-on experience of a cobra. I mean, to me, this is passionate. I don't have the opportunity like you to do it all the time and you know I'm, I'm willing to get dirty and take one for the team and I'm thankful to you for that. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. I mean, just look at the interaction of our local Sri Lankans that really love to handle the cobra, but they're so scared. I mean, look at this girl over here. She's not scared. I mean, just look at her. They're so curious, the little girl over here. Look at her. Look at this little boy over here. I mean, they're just great.